until March 2024, few people were interested in Kate Middleton's double. Many knew that such a double existed, but that was about it. No specific details were known. Today, let's lift the veil of mystery and delve into this question. How often does Kate use the help of her double? Heidi Agen, a 40-year-old single mother from the small town of Nuneaton, once worked as a waitress in a local Italian restaurant, earning pound ten an hour. After Kate Middleton was announced as Prince William's fiancé, and following their wedding, people around Heidi began to notice her striking resemblance to Kate. Some even asked to take pictures with her. Heidi didn't hesitate and sent her photos to a look-alike agency. In Europe and China, there is a strong tradition of hiring look-alikes for events. Agen quit her job as a waitress, became Kate's double, and began combining this role with a job at a daycare center. Being a look-alike is profitable. For a single event appearance, Heidi could earn a substantial sum. If you think she doesn't look exactly like the Duchess, you're not alone. However, this is only noticeable up close. From a distance, they really do resemble each other. Heidi even studied the Duchess's mannerisms to enhance the likeness. When Kate disappeared from the public eye, and then reappeared on footage captured by paparazzi near Anmer Hall Farm Shop, many speculated that it wasn't Kate in the video, but her double. The face was blurry, and it was hard to make out any details. Heidi denied this, though some viewers claimed the woman in the video vaguely resembled Kate. A recent public appearance by the Duchess again prompted accusations that it was actually the double. Heidi responded by saying that she couldn't have been at the event as she was seen elsewhere. The public has long accused Heidi of working for the royal family for the past 12 years as Kate's double, claiming that if Heidi isn't filmed up close, the difference is hardly noticeable. They also say that there's a double for Prince William. In my opinion, William's double looks more like him than Heidi does like Kate. Even Heidi admits that people come to take pictures with her, but when they get closer, they realize it's not Middleton and leave disappointed. It's no longer a secret that the British royal family actively uses doubles. There are specialized agencies that find and hire people who closely resemble family members. The doubles help royals during emergencies or to mislead the public and avoid panic. The most sought-after doubles following strict rules have managed to secure quite a good life for themselves. As we remember, a video was released showing Kate Middleton walking with her husband William after a shopping trip. Heated discussions erupted online, with many claiming the woman in the video wasn't the princess but her double. People were bothered by the poor video quality, allegedly recorded by paparazzi, who usually use the best equipment to capture clear footage. Skeptical users believed the low quality was intentional to mislead the public. They also pointed out that the woman in the video had sharper facial features and longer hair than Kate. As tensions grew, Heidi Agen, considered one of the top Kate Middleton doubles, released a video on social media stating that she wasn't the person in the controversial footage. Agen emphasized that the woman in the video was indeed Kate and urged the public to leave the Duchess alone, especially after she had undergone a serious surgery. A few days after Agen's post, an official video statement from Kate Middleton was released on the Prince and Princess of Wales's social media. In the video, Kate revealed that after her abdominal surgery, she was diagnosed with cancer and is currently undergoing chemotherapy. She expressed her gratitude to her husband for his support. Buckingham Palace made this announcement to quell the growing panic. Soon after, Heidi Agen received a job offer from a look-alike agency. Just a month later, she got her first booking. Within two months of starting her work as a royal double, Agen quit her old job to fully commit to her new role as Kate's double. She trained hard watching videos of the Princess of Wales, learning to mimic her public behavior. She perfected Kate's walk, voice, and facial expressions. 
during kate's pregnancies agon wore a prosthetic belly heidi often uses the services of makeup artists and stylists to recreate kate's look agon's job involves appearing on various television shows participating in commercials and attending parties throughout her career she has traveled to many countries including the usa china and even australia like other royal family doubles, Heidi has a set fee. For example, a three-hour appearance at an event costs around pound 600, and appearing in a commercial can earn her about pound 120, 000. It's known that Agen is now married to an artist and decorator named Russell, with whom she raises two children, a son and a daughter. Naturally, when people pay for appearances by Kate or William at their events, they understand that they are hiring look-alikes. The British are willing to pay large sums to create the illusion of a close encounter with the royal family. Before Queen Elizabeth Roman II's death, one of the royal doubles was Patricia Ford. She worked in the industry for more than 10 years. Before becoming the Queen's double, Patricia worked as a secretary. She even had her own website where she shared detailed reports of her work as a double. She attended various celebrations, festivals, and even participated in humorous videos with the popular Jonas Brothers Band. Patricia also regularly attended charity events, often on a voluntary basis. Interestingly, the look-alike community is very tight-knit and friendly. In their daily lives, they often communicate and even form friendships. One of the most famous Prince William doubles is Simon Watkinson. Unlike his colleagues, Simon did not quit his previous job when he became a royal double. He works as an engineer and plays Prince William in his free time. He has appeared at more than 300 events as William. However, Simon admits that balancing two jobs is tough. He rarely gets free time and finds it hard to sleep for long periods, 